summer is a great time. But when fall starts to hit, you got those cool evenings. Wouldn't you want to have a propane portable heater that is shaped as a lantern that will warm you up in the evening hours? So this is what you get. It's a nice size box, about two and a half feet tall, and it's pretty heavy. So let's open it up and show you what we get inside. I get a manual. It's going to tell me how to build this, what I need, screwdriver, a, a drill, a wrench. I got a certificate of authenticity. I got a warranty card, and yes, indeed. I get all the tools I need to build this. And I'm going to do my best to get this thing together. I got a parts list in case I need to know anything. And it's only about a couple of pages. And what we're going to work on is the assembly instructions of the base. In the kit, we're going to look for MM, NN, OO, AABB. These are AABB. They go with the wheel. These are MM, these are NN, and these are OO. Oh yeah, loads of fun. Go over the instructions, look at it once, look at it twice, look at it three times. The picture's pretty small. You're going to take the bolt, the L bracket to the outside, and the nut. And you're going to simply place on like so. And you're going to repeat this for all three sides. With all three on, with the tool or crescent wrench, you can start to tighten down carefully. I prefer to use a better tool and take my time and make sure the job is done right. Look at the work. Make sure this is aligned up just like so. With EE, CC, and FF, you're going to simply just match up the T. And you're going to place this on. You're going to twist and place in all the bolts first. With the supplied tools, crescent wrenches, you're going to start to tighten down. Work comfortably. Work smart. Take your time. And it's becoming to look like one of those standing torch heaters. This is the cover. This cover is going to go on and over. Make sure the front goes correctly like so. East Oak. This is one of the pipes. It faces up this way. We turn it upside down. We're going to snake in the pieces. You're going to just basically take your time, grab the other end, and start to align up. With DD, you get four, one extra, and we're going to start to put them on. Locate your pipe, and what you want to do is start to align the holes and place your bolts on. With HH, you get four, one extra. They're Phillips screws. If you need a second hand, get a second hand, because you're going to lift this piece, which is not too heavy. You're going to take this line, place it in, Slide it down and align your head. And you want to make sure your instructions or the controls, depending on how you like them, face forward of the unit. It's always good to go over the instructions again. Remove protective cover. 
This unit has a protective cover. You can see the film on it right here. It is not blue. It is going to be silver. So you're going to want to remove the protective cover. II, JJ, and all these other pieces. You're going to do your best to align this up. This is not going to go this way. This is going to go this way. When you make a full circle, then you're going to put this piece on. So maybe, maybe what you want to do is get a helping hand. You're going to take the nut and the bolt. And you're going to repeat this about 24 times. F, G, K. What can that be? Uh, it means you're going to need a six foot ladder. And you're going to have these pieces that are going to simply just place on. You could tie them down with the wrench if you like. If it ever rains, <laughs> yeah, you come under for some protection. Nah, that's where the heat's going to radiate. Grab yourself a tank because you're going to need one. And when you want to put this in, you lift up and lean like so. Pull your cover off. You're going to take the nozzle. And you're going to lock it into place so the tank don't move. And then we're going to turn our tank on. Lower the cover. We see our tank so we can get our hands in there. Word of caution. To turn the heater on, turn on the valve to the on position on the gas supply cylinder for three to five seconds. Press and turn the variable control knob to the highest position. While holding down the variable control knob, press the igniter button several times. So, what does that mean? That's on. Safety by holding. Ooh, baby, one press and we got fire. The only way you're going to see that is this evening hour. Man, am I sweating already from the heat that this thing is given. So, let's wrap this up for the evening and tell you what it's all about. To turn this off, it's as simple as pushing and facing to the up position. We're off. As simple as that. I'm out here in the uh, dark hour. I'm going to try my best to light this. Baby, look at that bad boy go. You can see how it heats up the uh, top part at the flames. And that's 50,000 BTU. I'm to try this once again because holding a camera in hand and trying to demonstrate it's not the proper thing to do. I'm going to turn on the flame. It's lit up, it's in full. Nice and quiet. And you want to keep your hands away from this particular area. It becomes extremely hot and it is really powerful indeed. The incorrect way of doing it was before when the control variable was, uh, you know, jammed. Now this is not jammed and it's correctly lit, as you can see, at full power. We'll lower it down to low. And low won't heat up as much. This is great for the winter time. Great for the summer evenings that are cool. 50,000 BTU. Gonna generate a lot of heat around here. When all completed, 
You just simply press in and off it goes and always, always shut down your tank.